to another episode of Pat the Next Door. Eh, when I say Pat the Next Door, it's so. Oh. <laughs> so in this episode, we're going to be talking about school. You see me? Mm-hmm. So she is... Introduce yourself, Linda. I am Linda Lani. That's the Linda pronunciation. Say yeah, it right. Linda Linda. 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 I can't say my surname apparently, but Linda Lani. That's it. But if, if you're Zulu, you can say Linda Lani. That's fine yeah. as well. We sisters, yes. we twins for now. Mm-hmm. Unless you guys can actually work out the I'm relation like, and the age. Switch on, eh? Switch on, guys. Like, think about it. Think about it. So, okay. Yeah. So she is doing computer engineering at Tax. So, okay. When you go into the career, mm. as a, as a, you are a, a, a engineer, holistic. Oh. Question was <laughs> career. Career. Okay. Yes. What's your workspace like? If you know. Okay. Or what so you expect. there's many different types of workspaces. So whoever's watching this and is like a computer engineering student or whatever, or an actual engineer, you know that engineering workspaces aren't really the same type. You can't really describe it, an engineering workspace. Some people are more technical, as in they go out and actually do the stuff. Some people are more theoretical, as in they sit in the office and they do the calculations and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you have to like know how to talk to a lot of people? Do you need to like consider people's feelings a lot? You do. Because engineering is a, is a people service. You can't do engineering without other human beings. Yes, you can. Engineering is about bettering people's experiences. I thought you guys life. could afford to be like indifferent about people and just like, yeah, here's the calculation, here's how you build it. <laughs> no, it needs to support lives. Like, yeah. you, if you make one engineering calculation that's wrong, a miscalculation, you literally risk lives. So it's about people. You need to know how to work with people. You can't really sit in your office the whole time. So you like constantly think about how to make things better exactly. for people. Because what I did. When I went to my vacation work, because I've never really been in industry for years, but the vacation work. She's I still did, in school. Yeah, for vacation work, I went there. There was a lot of technical stuff. They put me with a technical team, so the technicians aren't really the engineers. No, no disrespect or anything to technicians, because we need those people. But they put me with the technicians rather than the engineers. The second time I went, the first time I went, I was with the engineers, and those guys were more in the office. Doing the calculations, like I said, speaking to customers, like I said, that's important as an engineer. You can't expect to be isolated. You're going to speak to people. So the second time around, I was with the technicians, and those people went out into the sites. The company I went to work for, the company I went to work for, they put me with the technicians, and those guys were going out to sites, actually fixing things with their hands. I think that's the major difference. Engineers don't do things with their hands. So technician, what do they study? Technicians will usually go to the TUTs, the... The technical colleges, that's what a technician, that's what a technician studies. It's do they the get paid college. a lot? They do. It depends on the type of, the complexity of the technicalities that you're working with. And obviously you can become the project manager. You like can. you can grow within that industry. But like, you, have, you can't really be on the level of an engineer. An engineer will always be in charge. Ooh, but, but it's, not, yeah. it's no shade. <laughs> no shade, no tea, nothing. So you but guys will always end up as like... The, the boss, CFO, yes. you are the head, marketing, you, consider, you are the planner, you are, you, it's you, yes, president, chief, you consider, like being a doctor, exactly, you consider a doctor before you consider a nurse, right, like, in judgment yes. of what should happen, yeah. Yeah. but if not you, in like, if carrying out the work, because, you need yeah. the final opinion, they'll come to the doctor rather than the nurse, yeah, that's the same with an engineer technician relationship, so you need the technician, you but need they'd the wait nurse, for you, but you need the final say from the engineer. Your signature would, would have more weight. Exactly. You, it's, you're responsible for more. Like, yeah. more is on you. Yeah. Okay. So the technicians do the work and stuff. So that's what that's that's cool. I was with last year in 2020 when I went to work for vacation work. That's what I was with. So you guys can just like wear whatever. There yeah. isn't like, oh, definitely. No tattoos on guys, site. Please, guys. No piercing. There's no dress code for engineering. Literally, that's fun. The more you express yourself, the better you look at, at engineering jobs because. You just look more confident. You don't have to get there and be like try, try to be like everyone else. And what is it like? What's the what's the ratios? Are they men, women? Like what's the workspace like? Honestly, at UP University of Pretoria, it's more white guys. I won't lie. Literally, in the module I'm doing right now, the module I'm busy with right now is I'm the only black girl. I'm one of two black girls in my and class. What? How and many are you? We are like I, I say like 
100 100 yeah. 150 okay they could be more the 100 150 and it's two black girls guys so can we please mm. get in more black people into yeah. engineering spaces because guys we need you like we need you we need relatability you know in the workplace yeah. you need to be able to relate to people talk to people about things you understand and yeah. you get point of views so please guys yeah. get into it it's not that intimidating like the fact that there's more white people is not that intimidating we just need more so that we can just have a diverse workspace like you don't want to get a workspace where it's just you feel different you sound different you speak mm. different you have to yeah you, you have, have to speak like them and, yeah, yeah. So you have to talk about what they talk about like no guys please yeah. it's not that bad it's just yeah just please get into it okay it's not that bad uh, it's not many that would back to them like, every time i say no, no. my sister didn't come in time they did it <laughs> they're just like eh? and that's the issue okay this right here is the issue okay. it's okay. correct them bad. they're wrong yeah it's not that bad guys just right. get into it it's i mean it has a future computer engineering has a future did you did you love it like before you got into it or did you slowly start to be like oh, i loved it from the get-go because one thing about me i like three things i like maths i like building stuff and i like computers obviously computer engineering encapsulates all three of those things so i had to do it it was it was the perfect perfect syllabus for me so if you love those three things, computer engineering is the thing for you. You don't do too much coding, you don't do too much maths. It's just 50-50. So that sounds fun actually. Yeah. Okay. So like getting in, how how was the competition? Like was it like you knew you'd get in or are there a lot of people trying to get in? Honestly, I was fairly confident that I was gonna So you're top ten. Because <laughs> you know, I mean if you tell she me. She doesn't have that. I mean, <laughs> you're joking. You're joking. If you tell him course in high school, you know you're gonna be accepted. Yeah. If you don't get accepted, Sometimes you, you just can know. sue. You can say, "Listen, I got the marks. Why wasn't I accepted? Is it because I'm black? Is it because I'm a female?" You can write them up, bruh. You can write them up. Your yeah. voice matters, exactly. Mandela. Because the requirements are pretty high, you don't have to worry about not making it. If you know that you studied and too hard and you they don't necessarily look at like your leadership and no, what you're involved no. in, it's your marks. No. Like, it's math and physics. Math and physics, yeah. So if you got the 80s and the 85s and mm. the 90s, when I do your drama, I'm just saying, do your do visual do arts. Your drama. When I just get the marks, and you're in. The yeah. marks. You don't have to worry. You don't have to stress too much. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say the same. I mean, listen, you get a chance. No, like they just consider too many things, especially when and you're from high school. Easy. Yeah. They, they make you like try really and hard I to get for it. Medicine, but I just write an essay. And, and it's like, I'm it. sure your marks were over and beyond the requirements. Oh, I was gonna make it. But <laughs> the essay was like, you know what? They just want you to do too much. And it's like, bro, I'm about to be a slave. Like, let me let me do this. Like, let me do this, bro. Like, you get the uh, workload. Like, how stressed are you? Like, how are your weekends? Can you just say, yeah, if I finish this, I'm done? Or do you have to always come back to the books? Come back to the books. Mm, let me be fair. I think it's very, very stressful. You know how in, at any university there's jokes about course childs, course childs, guys. Mm -hmm. But at UP engineering, computer engineering specifically, that's all I can speak for. It actually childs. Like, you will have weekends that you can't give up for anything but engineering. You have to do your work, you have to do your tutorials, your practicals, your assignments. It's a lot. I'm, I won't lie. UP computer engineering is a lot. How is that good for me? But I feel like if you're passionate like me, because like I said, I came into this um, syllabus with those, those three things that I mentioned earlier, like those three passions. So it was your choice. Those, you picked your struggles. I picked it. So I don't think, to be honest, I don't think computer engineering is something you just pick because you can do it. You have to pick it because you want to do it. That's what matters. You yeah. have to want to do it because there will be times when you want to quit. Literally in first year, maybe like the second, third week, you will feel like you want to quit because there's so much that's being put on you. But if you want to do it and you want to learn about computer engineering, you will never quit. Like I if you see yourself people. at the end. Exactly. But if you're just like, I mean, I can, exactly. then eh, maybe you shouldn't. You, you, exactly. But you should be like, I can and I want to. Okay. The want to is important. You can't just say I can. Everybody can. Anybody can. Literally, I feel like if you apply yourself to anything, you can. True. But you have to want to. So I feel like computer engineering at UP specifically is one of those things. You just have to be passionate about the mathematics and the computer stuff and everything. So it, it, it will child your weekends, a lot of your weekends. But you will have weekends off. Trust me. Yeah. You will have weekends off and you can do All what engineering you do. students do is groove days. Prospect Street. After, after end week. <laughs> my engineers <laughs> oh, know. Oh yeah, you guys have after, That is so stressful. Because it always ends on Saturday. One guys, whole week of tests. The Saturday after end week, you guys will know we 
you just finished. Everything. Yeah, no, there's, so a, there's a new violin. Don't don't expect to just have every weekend off because that's not how it is. From first year to the fourth, the final, fourth and final year, or the first and final year, if you do the other program, then yeah, just expect to have some weekends off. And I'm sure it pays off all the hard work. It does. Like literally, it, it does. Money, no, time, li- literally, no. dollars. One thing, but, 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 see, <laughs> one thing Basi has taught me is that it will pay off. Mm. When they say hard work pays ah, off, not really. In WWE, John Cena used to say it's hard and it will pay off. And when I never bought it as a child, I was like, how? Come what are you get what you want yeah. without working hard. Basi <laughs> taught me you have to work. <laughs> Those sleepless nights have to come yeah. before you can yeah. say it's hard work. Because it, the results will show. That's the thing. Like, what's the vibe? How how many of your people do you know? Like, do you work with the same group as the year progresses, or do you mingle even with like the chem engineers? Like, I'd say, oh no, this is an easy question to answer actually. Because from first to second year, first and second year is you mingle. First year you mingle the most because you'll be doing subjects you say, you share with chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, mining engineers. Everybody. Oh, it's like a, a bit Every little party. Ebit. What are you doing? No, what not are you doing? That's, a, that's a thing. Because EBIT is engineering, built environment, and information technology. That's three different things. But engineering students will mingle in first year. Within the engineering. You will, you within, will oh, okay. Yeah. So the people that have. Oh, yeah, right. So the people that are doing like built environment, they don't have ENG under their names. Yeah. But they degree called special oh, yeah, so that's architecture quantity surveying yes. construction management yeah. and then it would be computer science and it and it yeah yeah and i see multimedia oh, stuff like that i, I don't see. know if graphic design falls under that or humanities but i think it overlaps mm. between the two. Yeah. but yeah in first oh, year okay, you will mingle cool. other engineers only not with the it people yo if it is literally like progression yeah. it's literally infrastructure <laughs> development society wow that's so cool that's so deep like you guys dictate how far we go depending on how f- we do how deep you think yeah because think me as a doctor i'm not i'm not okay i am thinking advanced advancement of human life but it's yeah, not, okay that's it's deep. real that you change something for real for real like you uh, no we it's make real that yeah. you change the world like but come on if an engineer if an engineer oh down, we can work together to make that happen though because if i figure out that a turtle has a turtle engineering, engineering yeah you mm-hmm. see those yeah. things guys it's the future it's the future yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Okay. So what else were we on? I wasn't even done. With sorry, my baby, my baby. No, you were. I wasn't even done with the questions. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. First year, I said you mingle with the other engineers, and then second year they dilute you guys a little. So in second year, you know who you're in with. Engineering, there's sub departments. <clears throat> there's EECE, which is the one I'm part of. Engineering, electronic and computer engineering. Then there's mining engineering departments, chemical engineering, whatever. Then they dilute you there in second year. Third year, you have specialized. You've started doing EECE things only. It's just electro, electronic, and computer engineers. And it's just civil engineers. And it's just whoever else. You're specialized you have in specialized your third year, which is your degree. final. Third year, no, third year is not the final. It's a four year degree. You can yeah. choose the five year degree for people who didn't really make the requirements, but they started. Like the extended degree. program. Extended program. Did yeah. they start on Mamelodi campus? Mm-mm. They started in Hatfield as well. Oh. So yeah, there's four year. So it's like LLB and. Um, BA law. BA law. Yeah. That's like five year, but you can stream into the LLB. Yeah. You don't always know, but you end up with the same thing. I think you do, yeah. Okay, okay, we're not about that. But the same there's, it's, there's it's an extended analogy. program yeah. with engineering, with all types. Yeah, with all types. And then you, by third year, they want you to just be accustomed to whoever you have around you. So yeah. EECE people, that's who you have around you. Because obviously, electrical, electronic, computer, they. They yeah. Know. So yeah. by fourth year, they want you to specialize for your final year module, your final year project, and then that's how it goes. But yeah, so first year expect to <coughs> your final years. What your practicals? Like is that your honors? You can you do your honors? No, you do your honors after your undergraduate degree, your four or five year degree. Okay. Then after that, you do one year of honors or one year of masters, whatever. You don't have to. Graduate. You don't have to. You don't. Are you set up for work? <laughs> like. Like, is living university safe for you guys? Are you staying? Living, like, you can just take your seat and you, you've got something going. Honestly, after your undergraduate degree, you can leave. You can leave. Speaking from someone who's seen what it's like, the requirements and stuff like that, you can leave. The requirements to get into honors? Yeah. No, no. Like, to go into industry. Oh. You can leave and before start. you do your honors and your postgraduate. And do you that can later. start your career. Yeah. Before you can literally you do that later. 
you can you don't have to do it so yeah okay. but if you want to then do that but you don't have to you can do you want to get a job no should i edit that out because i mean it's subject to change no, it's not the so okay. knows. Oh, i thought it was like a ah, i got into honors you know what i mean it's not like you guys don't talk about when it. When people say they're going to honors, we feel sad for them because it's like, why are you are you sure, honey? Oh, wait, it's wait, like, wait. just go work. Yeah. <laughs> go get your chamcura. Move out, dog. Like be independent. I could need for you to be doing post grad. Yeah, I also wouldn't if I didn't have to. But exactly. um, there's like some other industries, like I know accounting science. It would yeah. be better off doing your honors. It makes there's sense. There's a lot of things in accounting science. Yeah. So you, what exactly? You finish four years. <laughs> And then you have to write in ten, but the CA exam, and then before that you have to do tax, and then you, and then you. Go to left. But I feel like they know, and they always but explain it as if like it's making sense, and but it's, it's like. Not. Mm. <laughs> so okay, so but the whole time be like, wait, when are you finishing? Okay, but same though. When do you become a CA? Is the question. Because when you become an engineer, guys, when you get your undergraduate degree, but I feel like all these things take the same time. Like it's like when people time. say, "Oh, you're doing medicine. That's six years." Like, no, but, you but two, like you're gonna do honors. But you're gonna be. Months. We're gonna be at the same level at the same time. But I can be called an engineer once I get my undergraduate degree. Can you be called a doctor after you get? So your you see, if you're living life in a hurry, go. You can do. You can do. <laughs> you can do it. You can do. Yeah, but again, it is if you want to. Yeah, definitely. if you want to. Yeah. So how's bursary opportunities and like there chances? There are a lot of bursary opportunities. I've noticed. I think you even snatch them all up. You do. I think even it meets us halfway to do that because they're always sending us, they're always spamming us with emails like That's so kind. apply, apply, apply for these bursaries. I think it's because generally we need you. They want more people into the program, but it's like, why is it so hard to get in? True. And then you get in and you're like, that's why. True. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why it's so hard to get in. It's I not. see it. But yeah, they really plug you with a lot of opportunities. It's not like you're gonna get there and struggle for funding. You yeah. might, but there's many, many opportunities yeah. for bursaries and funding and loans and stuff like that. Yeah, because I know when you're a foreign national, these things are hard as well. Yes. So do they make that any easier? No, like, do they have no. a program? Uh-uh. They leave them out. I was a friend of mine. Okay, UP really charges you for being a foreigner, and I don't think that's fair. It it doesn't make sense. They should charge like at least European countries or first world countries higher. Overseas countries, not they should charge African them higher. But if it's African countries, like, bro, this make it make sense. From Zim. That's next door. That's yeah. I know a lot of we foreign national students that are struggling with everything, and exactly. it's like it's exactly. <sighs> if you're foreign national, just make sure that you're ready for those extra payments and stuff like that. Yeah. Just maybe twenty percent more than anybody else expected. Which is a lot because. Yeah. <laughs> Is girl is C is is high pay insert here. Okay, um, uh, um, did we already say the type of person you need to be? Do you, you need to be hardworking and all we these type of things? Okay, go. The type of person you need to be. Yeah, like to do engineering yeah. or computer engineering. Um, <coughs> be interesting. I think. I think engineering is a lot about like it's it's about a lot of um collaboration. You can't do it alone. As much as a lot of engineers. So you can't be boring. You can't be boring. Like your personality or your how personality, you think. Literally your personality because you're gonna bore everybody. I actually used to think that's your aesthetic, not yes. you personally, exactly. but like I engineers. That too, that one of the selling points for me was that I thought I was gonna be alone. I thought I was and gonna and be And that is the alone. thing about you. <laughs> I wanna be alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. But engineering, you gotta collaborate. One thing about engineering, you gotta talk to people. Yeah. Be a decent human being if you want to get into any program. Start there. Like, True. You can't be a uh, a capitalist, like money hungry weirdo who just like wants mm. to pass alone and like yeah. they don't share past papers. Like you need your your peers and like your you know what I mean? Your colleagues. colleagues to work with you. You know, you need to find your way around connections, mm-hmm. especially if you want to get to the top. Exactly. Get to the top. Alone. Obviously, problem solving skills are also, are also very important. Just know how to solve problems. Like, be smart. Is that fair to say? Be smart. Yeah. 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 Be, be an intellectual, but don't know too much. You don't have to be too much, but just know how to solve. Problems. Like, you don't have to get there reading like it's philosophy. Like express exchange doses. What is that? What? That the longest English word in the in the English dish. I don't know. Superficial doses or something like that. What does it mean? Is know. it used to describe I think someone? It's fantastic or something like that. Comment down below the longest word in the English dictionary. Super expert. I'm gonna try to say it. Okay. Super expert. Super fragilistic cash piano doses. Or something like that. If if you 
Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. What was I saying about that one? I don't know, bro. You just, you just, you just don't have to receive it. Don't be smart enough to know that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you don't have to go there knowing general knowledge quiz. Exactly. You need to be people smart and book smart. And solve problems. And so, so. We spoke about engineering week. Yeah, it came up. You were like, after did engineering week, we're like, I, I, I we just people. overflow into the streets of head. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Talk about me. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay. Talk about engineering week. What we did. How do we get tested? Engineering week, like she said. So there's, are they, yeah, there's two engineering weeks in a semester. So that's four in total, right? So the first engineering week, that's your semester test one, and then your second engineering week, that's your semester test two. Okay, and then we have a lot of in computer engineering specifically, we have a lot of practicals, a lot of practicals, many like twice hours. a week, two hours a day. I'd say no, no, you don't. You work on them like it might be the whole week, it oh, might be one day. It depends, depends on, on you, the difficulty, the complexity of the work. Okay. It depends on you. Okay. You can take literally three weeks on one practical, or you can take two days on one practical. Depends. So, how's the learning experience like? Do you feel like you know your work? Like, do you feel like and you this, can tell me about like, yeah, and this, this brings me back to my first point you need to be passionate because if you're not passionate about computers and learning about them, you're gonna feel like it's a struggle every single week. Because they teach you new concepts. And you need to be ready to go, like, read more. Yeah. And understand this better. You need to be better. interested in it. Like, how does this connect to the... You need to want to have a conversation. Exactly. Exactly. How, is this, how does this link to the computer stuff I'm interested in? Yeah. How does... Why do I need to know this? That's what, that's what you need to ask yourself all the time. So, yeah. No, so, you need to be an inquisitive mind. Yeah. The test weeks are, like... Okay, before that test week, everything you learned before it. Yeah. And it's each module on each separate day. Yes. Each day, every engineer if you are repeating a module which i do not suggest you will have clashes which means you will have one module on tuesday and then another one on the same tuesday and you have to write those at the same mm. day on the same day next to each other right like after days. this venue right you after. are moving you're literally to another venue. like 30 minutes and then you have to oh. write the next one so please don't repeat modules that's my advice to you don't so repeat. okay your marking is like two tests and then those practicals in between will make no, no, a no. break for the module. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Each yeah. semester. Yeah, so the test weeks are like the major things. So how practicals many times can you mess up? Because this sounds cutthroat. Because oh. if I messed up my first of the two in mm. my semester, mm. can I make it? Yes, because I've done that before, guys. So if you mess up the first semester, the semester test week one, if you mess that up, literally get 30s and 40s, maybe even 20s. You can recover. I think that's the beauty of no, that's the though. test week. Like, because that recover. means through the semester you just calculate like yes, you can, I need to get more than twenty today. Yeah. I need to get more than this so today. You, so if you get that twenty percent in the first semester week or the first test week, let me say, if you get that twenty percent, you can recover. It's not all bad. You you can make it. You can. You can even get a seventy-five by the end of the oh, semester. I think that's it. Is there any final words? Any regrets? Regrets? I have no regrets because I chose the role. The what would you be doing if right? not computer engineering? Okay. Uh, maybe medicine because that was my second choice. Oh, he, no. But uh, I didn't even take it before you. Uh, or did I? Because we're twins. Find out next. Comment uh, down below. Next really door. Medicine for me. Controversy. But yeah, my second one was going to be medicine. You just, no. Was, you wanted to be a teacher in there. I did. Oh! <laughs> no, no, I still do want to be a teacher. Hand, one thing about me. me. When I asked her for meds. One thing about me, I do want to be. No, guys, you guys know it's different with family. Like, you want to teach everybody <laughs> else. Didn't I can you help me with quadrants? Number one. Is, I look, hey. oh, ah. No. Guys. <laughs> oh, I'm ah. to to get in the top ten. Guys, family is annoying. Let's be honest. Like, you will help anybody else in the neighborhood except <gasps> that person oh, wow. in your family. But you'll help them, but you'll be annoyed. Because it's like, why don't you get it? But then when it's strangers, you're like, okay, sharp, you're slow. It's, it's fine. I understand that. You don't want that slowness to be associated with. Okay, no, now I understand. You should have said that in the beginning because I, I was in the corner myself. saying, My sister, she doesn't want to hate me. So, I uh, know that one needs to hate. <laughs> we'll probably do it. I love education. Like, I like teaching people stuff. 
and I'd actually do that for life. I wouldn't mind. So yeah. And that's, that's another thing awesome. you can get into with engineering, right? Education. Teaching. Being a lecturer, yeah. But for that, you're gonna need your postgraduate qualification. Oh, so that's a reason to do that. That's a reason to do your masters wow. or honors. Or yeah. oh, maybe even after you've worked for like ten years, and you're like, oh, let yeah. me teach. Yeah. And they can do your honors, master. Yeah. You can do that. It's that's a lot of opportunities. So. Or you could just like leave the country. You could do that. That's what I'm gonna do, like low key, if I can. I'm dipping. I'm yeah. not staying here. Imagine. Yo. Ah ah. Do engineering in SA. But we need you. Oh. Just just come back to be like, yeah. Don't be like, who's that Elon Musk? Like, oh, the hotel, hotel is going are they... Anyways, in South Africa, it's going to be expensive. <laughs> and they're coming. The Tesla's are coming. Soon, is it? Apparently, they're coming soon. But thank you guys. Don't forget to like. No, so you start with. Don't forget to like, comment. Oh yeah, yeah you're like, right, you're right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean. Don't okay. forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't you want people to follow you? I mean, I think, I think people here are going to be Twitter. looking for you. I mean, uh, or whatever. You can follow me on Twitter at Linda Lani. But the first I is an X, so make sure you put that in. You'll put it in the That's so 2012, bro. So, well, unless no, Kaya, no, no. a separate. My Twitter ah. handle was literally at Disney Summers. That I was 2012. That. that was a lot. That was and a lot you were doing so many follow trains. You were just going through a lot, I think. I think you were, follow for follow. most of all, just trying to find yourself. Follow and for me. that, we, we need to like just forgive yourself. I you know? literally tweet hashtag follow for follow. Mm. And not just the Tom, but like you were fun of the leader. Guys, you were the leader. Place. But you know what? Now I have leveled. Rose in the dark, you see me? Exactly. So if I told you that flower blue in the dark, put my hand on yeah. trust me. Yeah. That's me on Twitter. On Instagram, don't follow me because I won't post. So, so do they. You avoid it. You can once, but yeah, don't do it. We're trying to get her on, guys. Comment down below if she needs to blow up. She wants to start a YouTube, but uh, she's not serious. <laughs> Nothing major, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything else you'd like to know, comment and she will get back to you. If not me. My... A-A-G <laughs>